All right, today there was uh, another discussion. Somebody else had a anchor breakout, 20 foot something fall. It wasn't a primary anchor, secondary, or um, a, a tertiary anchor of some sort. But nonetheless, it was an anchor, and I suspect there was the thought of a shared load and, and making the anchors safer because it's a shared load. So I'm going to run through a couple concepts real quick, although I don't think do things quick. But let's say... For example, this is my anchor that I'm looking at. We look at that and we go, if I tie off with a cinched anchor, I know that my 200 pounds is going to put 200 pound load on this anchor. So then you have the consideration, well, if I do a basal tie off, then we know that if this is tied off at the base of the tree and I climb up on this side, disregarding friction, I'm going to have a doubled load on there, up to 400 pounds. We have to disregard friction and all these things because we don't know what it is. So there's the conception that there's, or the perception that there's 400 pounds. So now what if we take, and we're thinking, let's take this anchor, and we're going to do a base anchor, but we want to share the load, and I'm going to run it through three or three different limbs up there um, and try to get this load to share. So I'm thinking rather than having 400 pounds on this, because I've shared it, and I've shared it three times, that 200 pounds, if I take the 400, 400 pounds that we had here and share it between three different anchors, then maybe it's 133 and a third pounds, right? Because you're sharing all those anchors. Um, and what I want to point out is that it's important to understand sharing of anchors because that's not 133 pounds at each one of those. There's uh, about two angles that I use a lot. One, the 180 degree change, we know that's 200%. If I use and Give me a little bit of, I don't have another anchor over here, but let's say this is divided like a peace sign, and I've got uh, 120 degrees here, 120 degrees here, and 120 degrees here. This is called a critical angle, and what it means is rather than having a shared load, I have a force in the direction each way and that adds up to a hundred percent of my load so what I've really got on here is my full 200 pounds I've got a 200 pound load here I've got a 200 pound load here and I have a 200 pound load here so I've actually taken all three of those limbs and given it the same load that I would have had if I had just done a cinched, single cinched canopy anchor. Now what if I take one of those out, and now we just have a 90 degree angle change. That 90 degrees, again, you're probably thinking, okay, rather than having a 400 pound load, I'll split it two ways. So I would have 200 pounds on each one of these anchors. And in reality, what you have is 141% because of those angles. So I have 282 pounds on each one of these. Still probably better than a full 400 pounds, but nonetheless, it's not shared being less. It may be shared, but still be more than if it was a single cinched anchor. So I have a couple angles that I try to remember. Straight up and down, 180 degrees, that's 200% of my load, 200% of my load. If I do a 90 degree change, that is 141% of my load. If I do a 120 degree change, each one of those, 120 degrees, that's a critical angle, and that's just 100%. So 
So those are some considerations when you're threading your redirects and you're building your anchors and you're putting your line through the tree and you're thinking that you're sharing the load and you are but you're actually increasing the load at some of those anchors. Alright so I had another thought and let's say somebody's thinking well let's avoid the increased load from a base anchor and we'll just use a canopy anchor so let's make this a canopy anchor and then we won't have any of these double load issues. So, here we go. Let's make that base anchor a canopy anchor. Now, it's in the canopy. It's a canopy anchor. It wouldn't matter if it was tied on a limb this way or if it's tied on the stem. It's still a canopy anchor, but in reality, We've actually even increased the angle on what was 120 degrees. Now is getting closer to that 90 degrees. So the 141% increase rather than just the 100% increase.